Give me a status. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with my reputation. I can't take this shit anymore. What is wrong with you, man? Pick up the fucking phone. That doesn't know how to do business. That just wants to take the money. That just wants to be greedy and say, yes, 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 I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. And then I translate that to my client. It's going to be done. It's all going to be perfect. It's tracks and YC. It's going to be smooth. And now you're here embarrassing us, me, the company, my reputation for your bullshit because you just want to be greedy and take the money. If you can't handle it, don't do it. Get the fuck out of the diamond district and go to fucking Chinatown. Number one investment time piece when it comes to Rolexes is the Daytona. So it will take you about four to five years to qualify, right? You got to build a repertoire, buy a few smaller watches to be able to qualify to buy this time piece. So it's a hell of a deal and uh, it's an investment time piece. It holds its value like no other watch. Check me out on Instagram, Omar Oshindidi, O M A R E L S H E N D I D I. And what do you do? You travel the world? I travel the world. I do like comedy skits and stuff. Visit places like this best spot here in nyc so that's what i do man 2024 blue dial day just brand new box and papers i got a little ham swiss bar i got a pen i got a sticky note and i got a little custom design that i'm making right here you're looking at um uh, saint michael and uh, in the back, you've got St. Benedict, right? This is a wax mold. Now, I love diamonds, right? We're making this in 18 karat gold. I told the client, why don't we add some diamonds around it? And this is how it's gonna look now. So, um, uh, we, your project is a little bit delayed, but it's for a good cause. Nothing like nice diamonds on an 18 karat gold, double sided custom pendant. And I'm glad you chose Tracks to do it. So, um, uh, we'll show you later on the finished product. We do have a production team even upstairs, but we're going downstairs this time. And um, um, these guys are a bit closer to me. And um, let's see what they did. Let's see if, uh, you know, because the piece came out good. But you know, it's all about that final detail, that final touch. And um, uh, that matters a lot to me, man. I want, when the client sees it, he sees that there's no scratches, there's nothing on it. I want it to look ideal, like me. <laughs> this right here is an 18 karat gold St. Benedict pendant right here. It's like a bar. And um, on the back, or this could be the front, you have uh, St. Gabriel with the prayer, of course. And um, let's look at all the details, man. Looking pretty clean, looking nice and polished up. And I think the client is gonna be ecstatic. Now, for the viewers, I'm actually gonna put it here on the scale, just so you have a look at this. 34.5 grams, all right? So it's 18 karat gold. You could do your math. You could look at where gold is at currently or whatever. I want you guys to know that this took a lot of work, designing, putting the words in the back and everything takes time back and forth. We even added the client's son's name right here in the bottom. You know, this took about three weeks to produce. And um, if you're looking for something like this, around this size, an 18 karat gold, you can expect to spend around $7,000. So just let me know. That, that's the next step now. Because I always say, get the pendant done first, yeah. then let's look for the chain. So I know this would take maybe like a four or five millimeter chain, even bigger, but you don't want it to be bigger than that because it'll take away from the pendant. So let's see if you go for 18 karat gold one or 14 karat gold one. Either way, this right here is the sherry on top. So I think you did great and your sons are gonna get a piece that they're gonna pass on and pass on. Like my bracelet right here, my granddaddy's bracelet passed on to me. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I, how I feel about this. Um, it's all about the emotion and, and, and the energy behind this. Because like I always like to say, these are trophies. So you want to get a trophy with tracks? Go on tracksnyc.com. So guys, um, this is a very unique situation for me um, here in the Diamond District. But um, I'm doing the best that I can to get the job done, to make sure my clients are happy. Um, unfortunately, uh, I dealt with um, uh, a wrong uh, uh, supplier, a wrong diamond cutter, and uh, this person let, let me down pretty much. Again, you do the same thing. You said the ring would be ready by today. It's now been two months, and you're doing the same thing again. You don't pick up when I call. You don't answer promptly. Client is disappointed, and I'm counting on you again. At least pick up the phone and give me a status. 
Give me a status. Stop playing with me, man. Stop playing with my reputation. I can't take this shit anymore. What is wrong with you, man? Pick up the fucking phone. The reason is greed. There's a lot of nasty people out there and they just want to take the money and say, yes, I'm going to do it and not deliver. So that's what happened in this case. First time I ever had a situation like this. And it's because I'm trusting other people. Yes, I can do it. Yes, I can get it done. I'll get it done in one week. Two months later, it's still not done. Problem, problem, problem. I call to get an update. I don't get an update. My client is pissed off, disappointed, disappointed in the company that we work with these type of people. I'm never working with this lady again. This guy, sometimes we gotta go crazy because the way this business works, it's a lot of, a lot of stress more than a lot of happiness. Our happiness is when we get the stuff done for the client and they pick it up and they leave happy. The rest is stress. Because we have to find the gold, we have to find the diamonds. We have to find somebody to put it together. Then we have to get the money from these clients because we charge them 80%, we need the other 20. Where's the 20? How much is it, what it is, no problem. Here's the money, take it, get it done, get it done fast. No problem, Jose, I'll get it done in a week. She failed. She definitely failed. Four months later, we're still working on this project. Now, she guaranteed it'd be done this week, it's Wednesday, and she's not picking up the phone. So what am I I'm gonna wait for, for Thursday, for Friday? Like, at least let me know what the hell is going on. You know, this is very disappointing and embarrassing. You got money tied up, you got a client that wants to give his wife the, 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 the wedding ring. What's going on, man? And what do I say? I'm depending on you, you know, to get this done. And it's freaking annoying, man. If you're not ready to take the heat, get the hell out of the kitchen, okay? Because you will be exposed. And my thing is not to harm and to humiliate anybody but you let me down, you made me look like a fool. And I'm telling you, stay tuned because you know what, if this shit doesn't get done, we're going to her office and we're gonna go and embarrass her and let the world know so they don't do business with this stupid bitch. I see on the videos how Max talks about how there's so much greed here in the Diamond District, how there's no loyalty, this and that. Well, I'm living it in, in, in flesh, you know, it's the truth. And now you're here embarrassing us, me, the company, my reputation, for your bullshit, because you just want to be greedy and take the money. If you can't handle it, don't do it. Get the f out of the Diamond District and go to fucking Chinatown. Some shit. I've personally done rings in two days, in one day. Custom, casting, wax mold, casting, setting the diamonds, polishing, testing everything. I've done it in one to two days. So for a ring to take four months to be done, it's it's uh, it's it's embarrassing. I have, I, so I have the diamonds now, bro. I finally got them. Thank God, man. Um, uh, I'm, I'm here with my team. Yeah, so we're gonna go over there, bro, and uh, get it started, man. Okay. All right. Don't worry about the mess. We're here to come. Perfect. All right. I'm excited. I'm really excited. I'll show you guys later, but right here you'll see a little video of the trillion cuts. Straight cut, beautiful man, finally, 39 of them. And I thank you Paul so much for being so understanding with this whole process and for believing me that this is the first and the last for me. Um, because uh, uh, after this experience and this embarrassment, I am even more straightforward than ever before with anybody. And here in Trax NYC, we have it all. But this is a custom on custom. Meaning, it's not just the rendering, it's just not just the gold and the casting and setting the diamonds. Like, they're not just round diamonds. These are triangle cut diamonds that are very rare. Because now the diamonds, I'm getting them from my other partner. And he's reliable and he moves fast and quick. He's like, Jose, they'll be here in 10 days and now it's going to be 9 days. I called him last night and it's confirmed. It's going to be here on time for my Fusion Gym guys, my guy Tony. It's going to be here. Through all of these uh, uh, trials and tribulations, um, I was able to find the new source. You guys were able to get more content and uh, more of uh, you know an insider of how it is here in the Diamond District. So we're celebrating a beautiful day, beautiful uh, tag team um, uh, work that we did together to make the client extremely happy and satisfied with you know just good service and. And now we're gonna be working on their custom ring, man. And uh, it's freaking awesome. Yeah. Cheers to you, brother. Cheers to us. Thank you. Cheers to Trax and cheers to Max. Boom.
Oh, you got it? So we finally got the Trillion Cut Diamond, guys. I'm so happy, so excited. This is gonna be awesome. I want you to follow me as I walk the Diamond District to my main designer, Fabricio, and we're gonna show you the casting so they can get started right now. I'm here in the Diamond District. What time is this? Five, six o'clock? Everybody's like closed at this time. Everybody starts to leave. But here in Tracks, man, sometimes we're working till like 10, 11 o'clock at night. We're chilling with the customers, we're having drinks. They're, they're, you know, we have a production team upstairs and sometimes they're working at one o'clock at night. We grind 24 so, seven. 24 seven, you can look around and see a lot of people are already headed home and uh, they miss out. You know, the Tracks experience is, is, is completely different. You know, loyalty, hard work and dedication, people take full advantage. Someone like Max, he's not. Look at the opportunity he's giving us. I'm excited, man. And doing all of this, man, Max is awesome, giving us the opportunity to do all of this, to um, let us branch out, is amazing, man. And you don't get opportunities like this all the time. Oh, look who we got, look who we got, what we got going on here? Colombian food, empanada. Ooh. <laughs> so I'm gonna work on this very hard right now. Okay, well, good news, Ivan, I, I got the diamonds, I got the trillion cuts. Thank you for making this happen for me. Triangle cut. Yes. That was triangle. a mistake that happened. Yes, before. yes. <laughs> triangle. Right? There's curved ones and then there's the straight cut. Yeah. This is the straight cut for that flush, clean, brilliant look. Yeah, it was a misunderstanding with the cat designer, this and that, whatever. But we get it, we get it done. Good thing we got you. Okay. Appreciate it. All right. I'll probably pass by after I eat. Perfect. All right. Okay. All right. I'll see you. Sorry. You need IDs? I'll Yes. You get them? Yes. Paul, if you're watching this, you got the whole diamond district working on your ring for your lady, bro. That's for you. Beautiful. Oh, the diamond, the center diamond. Look at this, guys. 10 carat oval shaped diamond. E color, VVS. Phenomenal clarity and color, man. This is nice. Look at how we did the diamonds in the, in the basket right here. This is called a hidden halo. A diamond of this size doesn't really need a halo at the, at the top, you know? It's just a little accent of diamonds. Good stuff, man. Look at this, guys. Look at this. She has the option to wear it how she likes. Wow. Look at that. That's what you call love. And uh, the rhodium. The rhodium is a uh, liquid derived from platinum, which is what we use to give it that nice, clean, white look. But look at the bottom right here. This is what I really like. See that? Huh? We didn't even mention this little feature right here. I love you, Miss Monte. Super. There you go. Custom. Yes. And um, yeah. Thank you guys. Thank you for everything. Thank you for smiling, ladies. For looking beautiful. Thank you. Happy that when we came in, everybody was ecstatic, <laughs> shouting happy, and they're like, finally! So they've all been waiting for these diamonds. They're like, yes. Come on, man. Jack's NYC, man. We're cutting the diamonds for you, bro. This is our team. They're gonna be setting the trillion cut diamonds. And after that, they're gonna be doing the rhodium to make it nice, clean, and white, and sparkly. And that's pretty much it, because the ring is halfway done. The whole delay was that we had to get that exact millimeter of triangle diamonds, 39 of them. You know, and uh, we had to go overseas, man, to make that happen. Can you explain the rhodium process? So, well, what does that mean? Like, you say rhodium. Now explain to me what that does for the ring since I'm new. I don't understand that process. Yeah, so if you notice in the ring when I was showing it, it had a little tinge of yellow mm -hmm. because the original color of gold is yellow. Yes. So what they do is to make it white gold, they add nickel and rhodium. Okay. Rhodium is at the end. That's where it gets the white color, but the rhodium, which is derived from platinum, you know, platinum, yeah. Yeah. beautiful, it gives it that look. So if you want rose gold, what they do is they take the yellow gold and they add copper. Wow, okay. So that's how you get the rose gold. Yes. So, so the rhodium is just to give it that nice, that, that platinum look. But over time, as you wear a, a white gold ring, that tinge of yellow may come back. Uh -huh. Because remember, it's like, a, it's like a plating over the slightly, the, the, the slight yellow um, uh, 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 ring. Yes. So that's pretty much it, man. But you can see in my eyes, guys, I had a great night, man. My anniversary was amazing. And I still came to work. <laughs> Extremely late, don't tell Max. 
he's the best boss. That's what he wants. He's like, make your money, do your business, don't let customers down, and live like a king. You want to come in? Come in whatever the fuck you want. But Just take keep the numbers up. But everybody can do that. So fellow co-workers and employees, <laughs> Gems. Gems tracks at YC, number one, baby. right here is known as a diamond jacket it's actually an insert so this ring is actually detachable see that you can actually insert it here and then you have the complete ring you can dress undress if you'd like something like this you can hit me up directly at gems tracks NYC and I'll be happy to take care of all of your jewelry needs but this is the ring